Hello. Uh, I'm back. Uh, it's me, Enz. Alleged uh, person. Hello. Um, okay, so uh, I'm recording this at a time where I'm normally streaming. Um, I ended my stream early today because uh, it's game release and just being busy. Uh, so it's going to be a short one. Right, it's gonna be a, a half hour. I'm literally multitask. I have a I have a, a steak in the oven. I'm uh, reverse searing it. I have a steak in the oven. It's a it's not a good cut or anything. Uh, I buy chuck roast and I cut it into steaks. It's a very fatty cut. I like it. I like it fat. Right, like <laughs> I like it fatty. Um. So I have it in the oven. It's at like I think I have it at one seventy five. It's a, it's a little toaster oven. Anyways, it's in there. I'm going to let it get to uh, 145 internal. Then I'm going to pan finish it in a pan and sear it. That's the plan anyway. I'm cooking now because uh, I'm waiting for a game to come out. I'm waiting for Dragon's Dogma 2 to come out. I'm very excited about it. That's a game... It's like... I don't know if you've ever had this feeling of, with video games, but... Has there ever been a game that's that you played that you truly enjoyed and you just always wanted a sequel? Right? And you're just like, man, I sure hope they make one. And you're like, you you know, you check on it and it's like, oh, I don't know, maybe we'll make one. Dragon's Dogma that was that game for me. And when they finally revealed that, I was like, oh, let's go, dude. I was very happy. And then I just avoided all spoilers and information. And today's the day. Today at 5 p.m. I get to play. Well, allegedly around 5 p.m. Who knows? Uh, so I start. I ended my stream a little early because I plan to double stream. Right, I want to stream again. Uh, you know when I'm ready. It's like no one cares, ends. I, you're right. You're right. Nobody cares. This is YouTube. All right, somebody right now is typing out. God, this fucking guy. I'm tired of him. Unsubscribe. All right, I'm sorry. Well, that guy's gone. I don't know how, how many people are left, but uh, thanks for staying. Anyway, we're waiting for this to process. Um. I'm gonna eat a lot, man. I'm gonna eat a. I don't. I don't plan on going too late into the night, but if I'm having fun, I might lose track of time. When I was younger, I would play games like Civ, right? And when I, I don't know, Civ is just one of those games where it's like, ah, oh, one more turn or whatever, right? And then, that, and then like sunlight, like like pierces through your window, and you're like, wait a minute, it's still not dark. Oh my God! It's 7 a.m. Like it, right? It's like so. If I have fun, that happens to me. Um, in case that happens, I'm gonna prepare some food now, uh, so that way I can just eat and keep playing. Or I could just eat some deans. I, I'm gonna go the dean route. That's healthier. I'll eat deans as my snack. That'll be the plan. Uh, today, let's go get some wood. Um, I wouldn't mind some bonus hunting. We're gonna get some wood because we need to process some coal. We have some coal on the way though, right? I wouldn't mind getting more wood just for crafting materials, building materials. But we're gonna make a cabin. We're gonna make a small cabin. Um, things like that. Uh, I do want to like upgrade my my house here, but I, I want to get a bunch of materials before I do that. Um, let's just take a bunch of spears with us. So we can hunt while we do this. Do I have room to put any of this stuff down? Okay, we could we could store our metal for now. Let's do that. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be a short one, short episode. I'm sorry. I'll try. I'll try to. Uh... Los Angeles, California. Um, I'm just gonna not answer this. I hope it's not an emergency. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's fine. Right? Comes back to house, everyone is dead. What happened? Oh my god. I'm sure it's fine. I don't recognize the number. I don't know. Alright, um... This we could set down somewhere. Right, I'm not going to put it in a block. We'll just slap it down outside. We'll have to punch it out later, but that's okay. Let's just put it here for now. 
Okay, and these boners, I think we could put boners on the floor, I don't remember. I'm not a boner expert, okay? I have very, very limited... <laughs> you know, I'm not going to finish that sentence. Uh, I, I'm, in, I'm in my stream mode right now. So if I'm if I'm behaving more erratic than usual, it's because uh, uh, my, my chatters are riling me up today, man. I was playing a, a much beloved, very a fan favorite. People love this game. Towns. Maybe you heard of it. Towns, I don't know what Towns is. They love it when I stream Towns. Allegedly. Um, I have a flint hoe. We don't need that. Put that down. Uh, these axes, I'll take them with me. We're chopping trees after all. We might get some grass. I'll just keep it on me. Bonuses for tool making. Okay, let's go. Grab some more spears. Obviously. Alright. Let's go, dude. This bonus knife. I have room for meat. I have room for wood. Not a lot of wood. Sadly. Why is this white? Oh, snow. Frost. The cold approaches. It is minus three Celsius. That that might stunt, further stunt the crops we have. It's gonna mess up our cabbage for sure. Am I recording? I am. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I just ended my stream a few minutes ago. I was gonna cook, but all I did was just you know throw the, throw the steak into the oven. It should be done in like 40, 40 minutes or so, right? Not done, but it should reach temperature. It's a fairly thick cut steak because I, I save a little bit of I. Pinch a few pennies by not buying, you know, uh, I don't know, like, you know, better cuts of meat. I just buy chuck roast and I cut it into steaks. But at least I get to cut it how I want, right? And I like to cut, cut them into, like, very thick pieces and even pieces. So I got that in the oven. It's going to be tough. I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. As long as I can feel like a cave guy. Right? And it's a satisfying bite. I'll be I'll live. I'll be fine. It kind of helps to like reverse sear it for a while. Because it, it it helps kind of like break it down a little bit more. Right? It helps render the fat too. Um that's why I don't have it at like a higher temperature to reverse sear it. Um I might I kinda tempted to lower the temperature, but I'm kind of in a rush today. Or I gotta get ready. Um, I've also been working on my yard. Uh, yesterday, I started a compost pile. Um, I've heard conflicting reports, so I, I'm not an expert at compost. Uh, I, I, you could argue I did a bad job, but I'm starting a, a compost pile because I want to be able to make my own compost and, you know, be a little bit more self-sufficient with the gardening I want to try to do. Um... The thing is, I looked it up, and some people say don't do it. Some people say it's fine. Just chop it up more. I have a lot of uh, aloe vera in my in my backyard. And most of them are, like, unhealthy or just dead. And some of them were in pots and stuff. So I kind of uh, took down a bunch of pots. And I used that soil. And I, like, basically, like, decimated that uh, aloe vera with the shovel to break them as, as smallest chunks as I could. Um, but I I also had some uh, other succulent type. I don't know what it is. It's some succulent I I threw out at first because I thought I, I it died. This was a long time ago. And it ended up propagating. I was like, oh, cool. So then I just kept getting clippings and, you know, over time, kind of like spread it across the, the backyard. But um, there's one patch that I, I cleared up. And then again, minced into a fine with the shovel. I just kept stabbing it. I'm hoping it'll decompose. I'm worried that it won't. Like maybe it's not like ideal. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know what I'm doing. But um, I did that. I tried to pull up some of the roots. Maybe that was a bad idea. But I pulled up the roots from from those succulents, and then I wet the ground. Then I put a bunch of Amazon boxes on top of that. Then I wet that. Then I put all the clippings and, and aloe vera, succulents, grass, leaves, top of that. 
And I put a bunch of dirt on top of that. And eggshells. That's pretty much it. Then I wet it again. And I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm going to start dumping my kitchen scraps in there. My vegetable. What am I doing? Why am I collecting sticks? Also, where do I live? I'm blog posting way too much. Where's home? I'm not kidding. Where where do I live? This way? This way? Oh shit, dude. I was I was too Hold on, let me secure the homestead. I think we've been to these ruins before, right? Uh this way is home. I know where I am. I'm just, you know, making it dramatic for you guys. So you guys are like, oh no, I just lost. No, I'm not lost. I'm just seeing if you know where I live. That would have been bad. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go get these trees now that I punched out some of the, some of the stuff here. I mean, let's get one more stack of logs. I'll just slap down the pines wherever. We'll see. Sorry, I was just... I'm in my stream guy mode, so... Uh, I'm kind of on autopilot right now. Whatever, I, I don't even know if you guys can tell the difference. Oh, uh, it's exactly the same, Ants. You're exactly the same. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Probably a bad thing in this case. Anyway, so yeah, I got the compost thing going, I think. I'm hoping it'll work out. Uh, the way I'm going to do it is like... One... On my break days, I only do two-hour streams. So every... Once a week, on my break day, I'm going to go turn the compost. Uh, since it gets hot here, I'll probably wet it. Like every other day or every day, depending on how hot it gets. And I hope it works out. It'd be nice to, like, spend way less money. My upfront investment in gardening kind of, kind of, uh, uh, makes it so I gotta, like, stretch the food supply. I have plenty of ground beef, right? And I got, and I still got plenty of meat to eat, but, uh, we'll see how it goes. Why am I doing this? Let's go bring this wood back. I don't have anywhere to place it. That's right, what am I doing? That's true, dude. Let's convert some of it into firewood. Is this uh, fire clay? I wouldn't mind making an oven, right? We want to we want to maximize our our harvest, right? So we'll need a uh, burn eventually. Burn shouldn't be too bad to, to get. Let's go hunting. I'll go in this direction this time. That's going. These are done. Hell yeah! Look at this. Look at this! Look at this upgrade and storage. Very nice. My goodness. It finally happened, dude. It's real. Can't believe Cold Guy has a storage vessel. My goodness. Probably should have made more, man. I store our food a little bit better. Very nice. Uh, we'll dump it in here for now. Let's just make this our food jug for now. I think this will count as a cellar, considering how we have it stored. Let's see. 12 days. 3 days. And then if we seal this. So I know I know that grass isn't the ideal material for cellars. It's like debuffed a little bit. 11 days. What? 12 days. I feel like this is a lesson I already learned. Right? We already learned that. Since it's warmer, it spoils faster or something, right? I feel like we saw this last time, an observation we made last time that I forgot about. Okay, we're ready to forge. We'll probably just have something very basic out here. Um, I'm gonna move all the molds out here. So we have more room. We'll build a proper forge eventually. Theoretically, anyway. But for now, we will be moving. We need food, man. Fairly badly. Bulls? Oh yeah, we can make oil lamps. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna do it. 
Hands, don't waste your 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 bowls. Too late, man. It's too late. Already wasted the bowls. Put this put these away for now. Put them over here. Uh this is all good. I'll put some of these outside. Maybe it'll help us like find our way back when it's dark. Oh, we already have a lamp there, man. Well, I'm happy about this. Should have used that fat to store your food ends. Ah, it's fine. We're fine, you guys. Do not be so concerned. Um, bomb activity. So, theoretically, nobody should bother us today. Still have an extra bowl. I mean, I could just put these on the floor, but since I have room now, I'm just going to toss them in there. This is fine. Okay. Let's see if we can get some some animals, get some food back. Um, what, what other pottery do I need, like, right now? I do want to make all the tool stuff. I do want to make, uh, maybe a, maybe a more, more storage vessels. I'd rather go straight into boxes, to be honest. But storage vessels for storing, uh, Food long term isn't a bad idea if we make a cellar. Okay. For now, let's go in this direction and see if anything spawned. I did want to check out those ruins. I want to see if any if there's any cobble ruins. That'd be very nice. But I think they're all going to be like this desert stuff. We shall see. Nice flint. I'll take it. Um, we could get a lot of bony soil. You get fabric and trading materials, right? So you trade with people. Now that we have storage, I could punch out all these, uh, grasses, too. We have a little bit of room. So I don't mind doing that. Wasn't there, a uh, grass here? I guess not. Don't get lost, Enz. I won't get lost, maybe. Perhaps. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, let's mark this. Um, what should we use? I didn't bring any grass, and I don't have any pack dirt. Damn. I'm going to use the ladders for now. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be using them. Mark these. We'll find it eventually. Any animals? There's a bear. I think that's a bear. Yeah, that's a bear. I think we should get this bear, dude. Provide lots of lots of lots of meat, a lot of bear steak. I don't know how fast brown bears are. I think brown bears are the second most dangerous in the game. The most dangerous might be polar bears. Let's go uh, scout the area first so I don't run into surprise bears. Like his backup. It could be a backup bear. Uh, I think I see a backup bear right there. I don't know what I'm looking at. Maybe that's a ruin. It's a little blurry. It's facing down a, a bunny. Okay, is this shallow? How deep is this? Because maybe we can murk him from here. Okay, let's try. He's murdering, dude. Bears are killing again. It's also drowning, hell yeah. Wait, if it drowns, we get less food. My own hand scared me. So silly. I'm running. I'm swimming. Hurry up, hurry up. I wanted to get back on land so we get more food out of it. If it drowns, it drowns, but... I want to be a little bit more efficient with how we do this. Now that I know how it works. Because we only get like 10, 10 meat, right? Okay, good. He's back on land. Ding bears. Disgusting. But also delicious. Where is he? Sleeping. We're about to sleep in your grave, bear. I think we murked them. 
This brown bear is dead, dude. Actually, I don't know what kind of bear it is. It's a turbo bear. Double tap. The brown bear. Good. My old foe, my old enemy, my arch nemesis. Okay, we should have some good eats for what? six. That's it. That's terrible. I thought I was going to get sick gains, dude. Instead, I got sick disappointment. Wow. That's like nothing. Where's that bunny? Maybe he didn't eat the bunny because they took damage. No, they totally did because... Large bite marks. Oh, it's a raccoon. Alright, let's look for more animals then. Actually, it's getting dark, and I don't want to get, like, turned around. Okay, let's, uh, go this way. We'll start cooking this up. We have the weed. Bedroom? I do. Get some rye. Kinda hoping for some grains. Okay, that's the ore we found. Um, I might repurpose this stuff. I really don't want to build with it, because I don't like the color of it, but... It'd be nice to have some, some like stone type material, right? I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I could make it all out of bead. And then maybe the stone material at the base of it or in the corners or something. We'll see, we'll see what we do. Someone complimented uh, how I build stuff, but I feel like they're making fun of me because I know it's bad. Have you seen professional vintage story players? My God. They're chisel gods, dude. Oh yeah, a fella that made the, a chiseling mod showed up on my stream. Uh, nice guy. Nice fella. Chiselers. Always be chiseling. They can't contain themselves. I got, I got a chisel! Uh, let's see. We did get some right. We'll be able to get a current very soon. Right? Put these seeds away. I don't have room in my my greenhouse. I don't want to punch a, a hole in it. I don't want to like disturb the the warmth. Oh, got some more fat to make another oil lamp. What? Oh. Well, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter yet. Okay, uh, I say we start making our stuff. Uh, we should have enough to make, um... I don't know if we have enough for the anvil. What do we have? 600, we need 900 units, right? I think we need 900 units to, uh, make an anvil. Sorry, I'm, I don't know the math on this. So I'm sure someone... Someone actually already told me the math on this. I assume I need more. And not less. Let's see. I think it's like 9 to 1. Or 8. Something like that. Like 9, like 10% has to be... Uh, Ah, okay. Let's see, how close can we get? 700 units. I think we're going to need more... Copair. Yeah. We could do that. Um, I see we look around on the surface to get some. I, how close were we? I don't even know. 700. Oh, man, we're so close. I say we go for it, man. Let's try to get... I, I, don't, I don't know if this math will work out the way. We have one ingot, but I think I need a, a 
the chisel, right? So if we if we get the the bronze, what we could do is uh we can make the anvil. <sighs> Damn. So it looks like I have enough for an anvil, but not enough for a for a pick. That's not too bad. But then we could just I think what we'll end up doing is that like I might sift to make black bronze. Right? I might walk around and find more nodes because I think there were some more nodes that we didn't punch up. I might walk around and find more nodes and and uh go sift uh, the the bony soil to get like threads and things like that, candles. Um, and then get enough gold and silver to make a black bronze pick, and then we'll just make the bronze anvil. And then that way we'll just be ready for iron if we happen to come across it. I think that's what I'd rather do. I know we're so close to box technology, but I think I want to tough it out a little bit more and just get that stuff out of the way. Because I would rather make a bronze anvil than make a, a copper anvil that I'm just going to like not care about. Right? And if we move from here, I got to carry my shit with me. It'd be annoying to leave behind an anvil. I know you could break it up back into copper, but like, why? Right? So... That's the plan. You guys can have conflicting reports if you want. I know it's a really short episode, but like I want to go check on my steak. I got a lot of stuff to prepare and do uh, because I'm excited for my video game. I'm going to start another stream in a couple of hours, right? So I'm going to do my gardening stuff. I'm not going to work on the yard today, uh, but I, you know, I got stuff to do. So I'm sorry for the short episode, you guys. I apologize. But yeah... Uh, let me know if you guys are still invested. Let me know what you think on the on the whole. Like, should we should we go for bronze, like tough it out for bronze, or just just get the copper? I could just break it down. Technically, I could carry eight hundred units or so, right? Because you could break down the anvil too. Like if I did carry it with me, whatever. Uh, but that's it for for this week, you guys. I'm sorry for the short episode. I, I, I'm, I have my days like full, in a good way. Right? In a good way.